Hello guys, hope you're all okay. You're all enjoying your life and you're all enjoying watching my videos. Welcome back to Dr. Arshid Nadeem Awan teaching videos, ultrasound teaching videos. Today my topic of uh, discussion is endometrial hyperplasia. As you all know that endometrium passes through different cyclic changes. In proliferative phase, there is a different endometrial thickening. In secretory phase, there is different endometrial thickening. And uh, especially in menstrual cycle, only the basalis layer remain intact and functionalis layer, it sheds off. So therefore, endometrial thickening varies uh, as per menstrual cycle. Whenever the size of and the thickness of the endometrium increases in the normal, that is called as hyperplasia. Hyperplasia happens to be either adenomatoid or maybe cystic. So first of all, you have to differentiate between these two, how it will appear on the ultrasound images. Beside this, uh, whenever there is a thickened endometrium, there is likely chance of uh, having endometrial polyp. So you must consider in differential endometrial polyp and at the end you should not forget that it may be because of any malignant changes so uh, there is likely possibility of developing endometrial carcinoma one another worth mentioning point is those who are taking tamoxifen for the breast cancer because this drug include estrogen and because of estrogen it will again falls into uh, high intake of estrogen as a result endometrial will proliferate it may give you rise to a cystic changes or maybe any malignant changes so therefore you have to be very careful how it will appear on the ultrasound imaging how we'll be able to appreciate that on ultrasound so let's start watching these images and these images will definitely help you uh, this is transvaginal scan of 45 years old lady and on that scan you can see that the uterus is retroverted on the retroverted uterus endometrial cavity is uh, clearly visible you can appreciate endometrial thickening but this thickening is patient was in proliferative phase in which the endometrium should have been uh, between 9 to uh, between 5 to 8 uh, millimeter but here if you can see this endometrium is quite thickened so it shows that this is endometrial hyperplasia the second worth noting point is look for the endometrial ecogenicity which is increased and in between that slightly cystic areas can also be seen so this is what endometrial hyperplasia is you can mention on the report patient endometrium is thick up to uh, 18 millimeter with small cystic areas within it suggestive of cystic hyperplasia cystic hyperplasia is a rare condition but still you can come across normally ecogenic endometrium can be seen thickened endometrium can be seen and it also gives rise to suspicion of endometrial polyp so always give your differential and mention thickened endometrium with cystic degenerative changes suggestive of cystic hyperplasia and possibility of endometrial polyp on this uh, transvaginal scan you can appreciate uh, it is normally antiverted uterus there is no version problem and there is no other pathology myometrium is fine but here within the endometrial cavity there are two places two areas two ecogenicity differences one is thickened e ecogenic area superiorly and lower to that smidely uh, hypoequic rather sometime you can call it isoequic area around area so it gives rise to suspicions of polyp and beside this it is also slightly mild degree hyperplasia because patient was in early prolifer proliferative phase where the endometrium should have been between 2 millimeter to 3 or 4 millimeter while this endometrium is thick up to 8 or 9 so it gives rise to suspicious of uh, uh, endometrial hyperplasia as far as a posterior to that endometrial area is concerned there is a slightly not well defined but an ill-defined round area uh, which may make as a polyp hypoequic polyp hypoequic polyp are very rare normally polyps are happens to be ecogenic but in one slide i mentioned that you can appreciate polyp when there is patient in proliferative phase because it's become easy to pick that polyp in early 
proliferative phase so this is the case where you can mention go for both endometrial hyperplasia and endometrial polyp uh, this uh, transvaginal scan beautifully explains a cystic degenerative changes within the endometrium which uh, suggests a cystic hyperplasia endometrium is quite thick it is up to 15 to 16 millimeter while patient was still in its proliferative phase where the endometrium should have been up to 8 or less than 8 here it is with the size uh, it is with the double size so therefore uh, this is hyperplasia beside this there are uh, certain small cystic degenerative age changes within that so it uh, uh, advocate for the cystic changes cystic hyperplasia uh, so write down on the report that patient uterus is antiverted there is no myometrial pathology endometrial cavity shows thickened endometrium up to 16 millimeter with central cystic degenerative changes also put the doppler signals on if there is any vascularity mention then there is vascular endometrium or if there is no vascularity then mention then there is no vascularity and uh, ultrasonic findings are suggestive of cystic uh, hyperplasia or uh, beside this there is also likely possibility of uh, polyp with cystic degenerative changes uh, because uh, it is also possible sometime you may come across with polyp having cystic degenerative changes within it so do not forget that so always put uh, your differentials with whenever you are writing endometrial hyperplasia also mention endometrial polyp because you never know it may come up with endometrial polyp as well here this another slide uh, it is also transvaginal scan and this white arrow is indicating thickened endometrium so thickened endometrium is always uh, indicate that there is some endometrial hyperplastic changes so and in endometrial hyperplastic changes could be adenomatous and could be cystic so both types can be seen uh, these are actually depend upon the histological characteristic as i mentioned that in the endometrium there are endometrial gland and hyperplasia mean that these glands becomes hyperplastic usually you cannot see cystic changes very commonly but uh, in rare cases there will be cystic degenerative hyperplasia as well so make sure whether you are looking for adenomatide um, uh, hyperplastic of the endometrium or uh, there is cystic degenerative uh, hyperplasia of the endometrium in both cases always mention there is possibility of the uh, endometrial polyp so mention in your report that uterus is uh, normal in size this uterus especially which you are seeing is antiverted and that arrow is indicating thickened endometrium uh, conclusion in, in the conclusion mentioned that differential is uh, included with thickened endometrium uh, cystic degenerative hyperplasia and possibility of the um, endometrial polyp again this another slide uh, these multiple slides actually i have shown you to just familiarize with the appearances of the endometrial hyperplasia so because many a time uh, clinician ignore that and they do not take notice of if there is any small cystic degenerative changes within the endometrium but it is worth mentioning because at the end of the day you never know which case is going to be malignant or which type of a malignancy you can come across so mind you that whenever there is some in information on the ultrasound imaging immediately put it on your report do not ignore that it will really save your skin so therefore this scan and this image shows uh, endometrial thickening endometrial hyperplasia with cystic degenerative changes in it so for the uterus is concerned uterus is introverted and you can also see the cervical area endometrial cavity is clearly visible there is no other changes apart from thickened endometrium with centrally cystic degenerative changes so it is actually cystic hyperplasia as i mentioned you hyperplasia could be adenomatide hyperplasia or hyperplasia could be cystic degenerative hyperplasia so degenerative or cystic hyperplasia this is the example of cystic hyperplasia 
whenever you are writing the report must mention that uh, endometrium is thick and it includes um, small cystic areas suggestive of cystic degenerative changes and also possibility of likely polyp with cystic degenerative changes as well uh, if there is need so mentioned further radiological imaging is recommended here uh, this patient uh, is already taking tamoxifen tamoxifen is the drug which is used for the breast cancer and uh, on that uh, on this scan this is transvaginal scan and on the transvaginal scan you can see endometrial cavity is enlarged you may confuse with the fluid within the endometrial cavity but this is not the fluid if you just have a look so you can uh, appreciate thickened endometrium and in the thickened endometrium there is a cystic degenerative changes this is secondary to tamoxifen so this is tamoxifen related hyperplasia as treating the tamoxifen tamoxifen contain estrogen and because of the estrogenic effect there is likely chances of developing endometrial carcinoma as tamoxifen contain only estrogen so this would be considered as unopposed estrogen which has a great chances of developing breast uh, developing endometrial carcinoma so uh, mention on your report that the uterus is uh, antiverted thickened endometrium with central cystic degenerative changes it is cystic hyperplasia most likely secondary to tamoxifen related changes uh, this scan uh, shows bit worse degenerative changes again this patient is on tamoxifen for the breast cancer and you can appreciate this is a well distended endometrial cavity and endometrial uh, parenchyma cannot be easily appreciated because it is interrupted by cystic degenerative spaces so this is uh, uh, extensive changes of the tamoxifen uh, must mention on your report that uterus is uh, antiverted endometrial is grossly thickened and uh, its apparent chyma is interrupted by numerous cystic spaces patient is already tamoxifen so this is tamoxifen related uh, endometrial hyperplasia uh, you can also advise further workup advise uh, it is better to advise histopathology biopsy to confirm whether there is certain uh, cancerous or malignant changes is going on within the endometrial cavity or not so better be safe than sorry so mention all these information on your report also mention what to next like the next modality is MRI and histopathology so biopsy is the final investigation which would help to investigate which will help to diagnose and uh, 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 malignant changes so this is what tamoxifen related hyperplasia look like uh, yes friend this was all about the endometrial hyperplasia i have discussed all the point at length these are quite a few like you can easily memorize if you want uh, the one is cystic adenomatoid hyperplasia simple adenomatoid hyperplasia or in differential you may include endometrial polyp or there may be likely chance of endometrial cancer I have also mentioned there those who are taking tamoxifen there likely there may be a possibility of developing any malignant changes or there may be certain cystic changes so you have to be very cautious beside this you already know that during the endometrial phases endometrial varies or undergoes different changes so what are these changes you have already known and I have already uploaded one of the video regarding that so must watch that video as well um, keep watching my video and keep sharing with others and if you think there is something to be discussed with me and you just drop me a message and I will get back to you with some other videos we'll see you each other till then take great care of yourself see you then bye bye